Welcome back to Azure Data Factory Real Time Scenarios. The Scenario 5 Execute Copy Activity when the file becomes available. So, there is a file. So, we are going to check my source under the source the file is available or not. So, here the source is Azure Blob Storage. Whenever the file is available here, I need to copy to the sync. And the sync is Azure Data Lake Gen2 Storage. So, how to check whether the file is available or not? So, we are using Azure Data Factory. So, under the Azure Data Factory, there is a activity is called validation. That validation is connected with copy activity. So, whenever we run a pipeline, first it runs to the validation. So, and it goes and check with storage, blob storage, if the file is available or not. If the file is available, then it intimate to copy activity to perform its operation. Otherwise, the file is not available within the certain period, then it shows that time is out, timed out. So, we will see in our portal. Let me go to the Azure portal and storage accounts. So, I already have created both the storage accounts. The first one is demo storage account 564 is per blob storage and my demo data lake storage gen2 storage is per uh, Azure data lake storage. Let me go to the blob storage and under the container input and there is a file. So, I need to copy the file in into the my gen2 storage data like gen2 storage and I say output under the output population there is no file so how to perform so it can be performed by using azure data factory and let me check whether the link services are available or not so I already have created both the link services one is blob storage one is adls gen2 link services so let us go to author tab and create two data sets one is source data set and one is linked data sets so just i'm keeping in a folder blob storage to blob to adls so let me create a data set and the first data set source is my blob storage so search for blob storage and I click on continue eliminated file and I give the name of data set data set and inject so we are injecting yes so inject population data and the link the service is to choose blob storage and we give the path for that just given the path i know that there is a header the first was a header so i just click on click it now i completed with my source data set now let me go and create a destination data set my destination data set is azure gen2 so click on that create delimited file click on continue and uh, give the name for data set data set sync population data population data so this is my sync data set and choose the link to service and give the path where it should be copied so it should be copied under the population and we know that there is a header in the first so click on okay. so i have completed both the data sets so to perform the copy activity we need a pipeline so click create on a pipeline view the name of pipeline pipeline in just copy copy from blob to adls now first we to check whether the file is available or not for that purpose we have one activity is called validation so here's checking whether the file available or not in blob storage check if file exits under the setting 
we should give the data set so what is my data set so inject population data set so this is my source data set and here the time load should be given so and just i'm giving here only 30 seconds so the file the validation should go uh, wait until 30 seconds the file is available then it will be executed next i required copy activity these are the copy data use the connection under the copy activity we require two things one is source the source is population data and the sync is Yes, in population data. So this is my activity. So already we know that there is a file inside the blob storage, so it should be debug. So just I'm checking validation, there is no error. So debug. So it is in progress. So we need to wait until it finish. The file is exist. That's the reason the copy has finished. Now, if you see and specs, see from the blob storage to Azure Gen storage, and one file is copied. So let us go to Azure portal and we'll see. Before we don't have file here, but the file is copied. Now let me delete this population file from both the storage accounts. One is blob storage, and uh, one more is azure data lake gen2 storage and uh, now i'm deleting from my source storage demo container storage it is my source blob storages so let me delete the file from both the folders now as we know that there is no file in blob storage no but we are trying to recheck and if you go here check so it will check 30 seconds now we'll debug it So execution has started the status status is in progress we need to wait until it finish The time it is out because there is no file inside the storage account so let me debug there's a reason so now i'm re debugging it again but let me change the timings from 30 seconds to two minutes because then the time is sufficient to add the file at the time of debugging see we don't have file here again see storage account under the storage account blob storage under the container we don't have any file under the public see but what i am doing here i am starting debug but i am giving the time to is for two minutes so meanwhile once it started debugging i can go back to my azure portal i can upload the file now file 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 population yes so deep upload uploaded yes the file has been uploaded now come to the see the progress is still in progress so we need to wait so as the validation has completed then it is informing to copy activity to copy the data now let us go back to my ADLS Gen2 storage account and let me see whether the file has copied or not see in the population the file has copied so this is how we'll check whether the when the file is available and copy the activity so we are using here is called validation activity thank you